A couple of months ago, Pastor Chris Valentin from Bethel gave us as a church a word about a new era which we are entering into. In a lot of ways, this confirms what we have already felt. This whole world is entering into a new era. We can see a change politically, economically, a shift in the balance of world powers, and we've also been seeing and feeling that there is a change spiritually. The question that we must ask is what does this new era, what does all this change mean for us as a church? One of the images that Pastor Chris painted was this idea of being in a half time. You think about a football game or whatever your favorite sport might be. What happens at half time? The teams comes back into the sheds. They come together to reassess the situation. The coach reminds them of the game plan. They devise new strategies and new ideas based on the state of play and the resources and the gifts that they have on hand. They come together to stir one another up, to re-energize, refuel and refocus. If the church is indeed in a halftime period, we believe the writer of Hebrews captures the mood perfectly. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Main takeaway the writer of Hebrews wants to establish for us is that whatever is happening, whatever the state of play, the game plan for the people of God is always and forever to come together. At the time Hebrews was being written, the church was under severe persecution. Many were choosing not to meet together as, as it was simply just safer to not turn up. And the writer of Hebrews is having none of it. You've forgotten what it is that makes our faith strong, what it is that holds back fear and keeps us focused on the upward call of Christ. Coming together is what pushes back the darkness. Coming together is what keeps us strong. Coming together is the message our world needs, not just to hear, but to see. This doesn't come easy. It doesn't happen without intentionality and commitment. Togetherness is an act of sacrificial worship where the suffering find comfort and the comfortable are also challenged. As you know, our theme for this year is love is on the move. Love is on the move is not a solo sport. It is not for a select few. For love to be on the move in and through our lives, we need to come together. Prepare the way this year is a kind of rallying cry to come together. Come together and be generous. Come together and serve. Come together in prayer and in worship. Come together and be made whole. Come together for the glory of God and for the good of our city. This year, as we head towards our Prepare the Way offering, we see this as a time of coming together to practice sacrificial generosity so that we can build community, engage in mission and accomplish our vision. From a practical point of view, we are looking to raise funds for four main areas. First, we want to bridge the gap and see our yearly budget deficit return to even. For this, we are looking to raise $80,000. Second, we want to see around $55,000 raised for local and overseas mission. This includes our stations, exhibitions, Christmas service and support for our local and overseas missionaries. We are also looking to raise $30,000 for in-house ministry, which includes pastoral care and training and developing for our staff and teams. Lastly, we are believing for $45,000 to refresh areas of our building, update our kids and youth facilities and provide much needed maintenance to our sound, audio and video tech areas. All of this adds up to a total of $210,000 that we are believing for this year. We invite you to take time to prayerfully consider how you might join us and give to the work that God will do through us and in us in the year to come and the years ahead. To ask God to show you the part you are to play as we prepare the way this year. We have faith to believe that God will provide seed to the sower, that you by God's grace will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and that together our generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. For the last decade, we have seen about and heard about the struggle and shaking of the Western church. But in this half time season, at the beginning of a new era, there is a genuine sense that the mood has shifted. Across Europe, the US and here in Australia, our own nation, the Western Church is beginning to awaken. 
Remember the words of Stuart Piggin from earlier this year. Before every great revival, there were three things present. Extraordinary prayer, uncommon unity, and a heightened expectation. So let's come together. It's in our coming together that God commands a blessing. This August, as we prepare the way, let's come together in generosity. Let us come together in worship and celebration. Let us pray together and contend together. And let's hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for He who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on, encourage one another towards love and good deeds. Why? Because there is a future in front of us that we have been called to take hold of for the sake of our city.